so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Caceres getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. All right, right into side control here. Nurmagomedov is trying for a submission here. Oh my goodness, that dark choke is very tight. That is great submission defense. Grounding and pounding away. Nice strikes to the body there by Caceres. Right. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Big knee land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right, he gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. There it is. Right back on his legs. Marco Medoff gets the takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. And there you go, again, half guard. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, that is tight. Could be the beginning of the end. He's back up. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Well, Khabib Nurmagomedov might have been able to win a kickboxing match here tonight, but taking the path of least resistance and really how he's running. And John, I think that points to the fight IQ. Knowing that you possess all the skills, but you stay in your wheelhouse. You take your opponent down over and over again and try to drown him. Habib has long said he would take you into deep water. He has done that tonight, and that is why he's been so successful. Keep moving. Protect your face. With 90 seconds to go in round one. Caceres gets tattooed by that straight punch. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Well, you don't want to say Khabib is falling in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, real nice shot to the head in the clinch there. 
Man, these knees are really starting to do a lot of damage to his opponent here tonight. Great timing on that double leg. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Postures up now and lands the vicious head strike. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. That was a slick transition. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Look at him, he's setting up a choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Now it's tight, there it is. Sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing oh. job oh. staying out of those submissions. Round two next. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Ready taken fight. down back to the mat again. Ready. Second round on the road. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop. Yes, because he's always changing up. The first time, it may be a high cross entry. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his ground opponent. Oh, nice right hand by the chair. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Nice leg kick. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Bubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the punch. Ooh, another shot to the head. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. And now some separation. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take it out. Oh, triangle choke by Nermega Mello. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, he's out. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Caceres. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. He hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meta. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Lands a nasty body kick. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Caceres. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. Just out of range with the big right hand. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. 
Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. There's the jab. There's another one. So the double jab is there by Nurmagomedov. Great job getting that kick hold. Nice body kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Another kick down Lance. Oh, good defense, yes. Nermanko Medov's in half court. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, that is gonna do it. That's gotta be it. Oh, he's able to get out. Well, good job. It looked like he was going to tap with his left hand, but instead, he bridged off to the right and turned back into him to release some of the pressure on the Von Flucho. Beautiful defense. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in and largely DC. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control really starting to wear at the gas tank of his opponent. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. With conviction to the body. 20 seconds to go round two. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. job by the champion. Oh, stuffs oh, the yeah. takedown without issue. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got in on the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Big knee there to the chest. And a miss with the right hook. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Lands the front kick to the body. Now, nice work on the feet by Caceres. Man. Nice combination there. Caceres is now dealing with a cheek cut. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the striking really well in this fight. Nermago Menov gets the double leg takedown. How good was that? All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Mm, nice. Close guard. And there you go, again, half guard. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has built out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Get the ball here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. 
All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cowl tie. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Right now, he seems lost to it. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in butt? Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's now is able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Nurmagomedov's back in half guard. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Ooh, big shot lands. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, it was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. Ready to fight? Ready. Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. So who has the upper hand? You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt wrapped around their waist. It's amazing. Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. Caceres' eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Nurmagomedov going for the takedown, but unable to land. Oh! He's got to try to finish here. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Big punch lands through the middle. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Lands a jab. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to fly and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something. Cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. 
It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Nice pass. All right, side control now. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Yep, that gets his deep. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. To the body in it lands. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Just over two minutes to go. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking the damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an X. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you got to... Lands a hip toss to get him down. That can't feel good. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Just out of range with that kick attempt. And there's a takedown attempt. Gets in close, gets that single collar tie, locked in tight. Big power shot there. Well, a case of pick your poison here, if you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face. Big double leg, double change. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Elbow to the body as the ground and pound continues to work here by Nermago now. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the book. See how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure a takedown, to feel good about the way things were going, he gets an A on his report card. Because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured, and as you watch that clock start to go up for top control, him and his team are ecstatic. Because yeah. they know when they're on top, when they're secure takedowns, they're winning. Oh, nice. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for him how to right. He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely.
Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Nice one, two there. That leg kick lands. Well, you see him cringing now as the body damage just continues to pile up. He hasn't made the adjustments, and I wouldn't even hate a stop at you. No, I wouldn't hate a stop at you. This guy's been beat up. Like, he hasn't adjusted at all. This started at the very start of the fight, and it continued to the point now that it seems as though it's an eventuality that this fight will be stopped due to body damage. Tremendous game plan, and it worked perfect. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. That's a beautiful body kick. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. A single power side. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. Well, no surprise, he gets the takedown there. Over and over. And now he's a good control. That guillotine is tight. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he counters the guillotine. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Headshot, yeah. bang! Caceres is cut on his nose, is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. So confident that timing was on point. Nice takedown win. Caceres gets back up again. Single leg takedown. One minute to go in the fight. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Nice straight there by Caceres. Man, a combination of knees in the clinch, and all of those are landing to the body. Got to see if the opponent can make some adjustments here. Watch for his opponent to start to really slow down. Those knees start to tax the gas tank more than he wants to. Oh, he's in trouble. Makes an adjustment. What's he doing here? He's jumping sides, Jay, trying to switch to an arm triangle. Caceres is really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Nemagro let off ground and pound from half court. Right. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. Official Ladies decision now in. After the five has. rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nemanja Meda. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss.